Hello, hello. How are you? Hi. Hello, guys. It's gone. Um, hey, everybody. Hi, all the fans, the ghost community out there. It's been a great week, and I'm sure there's been another million ghosts that have been created. Um, just know that we're slowly killing one by one. We're destroying ghost by ghost. So the fight never stops. We're getting them all. I'm very good. Um, I'm very afraid, and I notice when there's a lot of ghosts, the first thing I notice is I get very afraid, but that's yes. why we're here. So people yes. will be afraid. That and is a, a common symptom of ghosts being around uh, for everybody to know is number one is fear. If you feel like you're afraid, that's probably a ghost around. So there's, there's probably one or two ghosts around. And I just hope we live to see the day where the motion picture association Mm -hmm. Finally, gives a movie without a ghost an Oscar. Exactly. I don't, know. I don't think we'll see it in our we're lifetime. Not gonna, we're not going to live to the day that that happens because the Oscars are inherently corrupt. Uh, Oscar himself is a false idol. He's a demon god, and mm -hmm. everybody worships him. Yeah, they shouldn't even call it the Oscars. They should call it the Caspers. There you go. That's Man. a ghost. That is some cutting satire from Mark Loeffler. <laughs> so we're going to be talking about the directors uh, this episode because we feel that you know they do deserve some uh, some certain amount of blame when it comes to the facilitating of ghosts in these movies because they have the last say when they when they give them a clipboard with the numbers of ghosts that they have to put in the movies they they sign their name and they check that box they check and they say okay. Okay, they allow the ghosts to be in the movies, and so, they don't even they don't even put up a fuss. They're just they just pour the ghosts in there, mm -hmm. and it's it's just it makes me sick. Mm -hmm. It I, it makes me it makes me furious to be honest. And team, here's the thing: these guys and and girls and everybody, the Wachowskis included. Now yeah. we're going to be talking about the the fact that these Oscar nominated directors, they're only at this at this place right they're only at the top because they had allow more ghosts in their movies than everybody else that's all hollywood even cares about anymore it's like kind of who's got the most ghosts in their movie mm -hmm. i mean when you look at a film like hacksaw ridge covered mm -hmm. in ghosts covered like that's covered from head to toe yes mel gibson is probably one of the one of the uh, maybe out of all of them, he is the least aware of what's happening. He is he's whacked out of his mind. He's here's some so pictures, of, and but here's the thing. I don't want to give Mel Gibson the, I guess, the courtesy of me writing him off as just a crazy guy because if you look at pictures of Mel Gibson, and I'm going to show you guys something, and you just have to bear with me because this is pretty scary stuff. Uh-huh. That, ooh. Wow. Look wow. Wow. He has been hissed by a ghost, maybe that's by the pretty, devil himself, okay? That's that's pretty scary. Yeah. I mean, look how ripped he is in this picture, and look how old uh, he is in this picture. How does he switch so fast? I don't know. I don't... Okay, so I'm going to stop sharing just because I don't want to spook right. anybody else. But just know that he is kissed by, by the devil himself, but he's a fool. Now, that's terrible. Hacksaw Ridge... I don't know if it's going to win the best movie, um, best director, but let's hope that it doesn't because I don't want this guy making any more movies because he let a lot of ghosts through. So much, movie. so many ghosts. I predict that you know, it's going to win because it's got the most ghosts, and mm -hmm. then the ghost of Christmas Past is going to accept it because that's just right. how corrupted by the ghost market Hollywood is now. Absolutely. And so then if you think that's going to win – I I actually have another pick in mind, and it's and it's my next one. It is the Manchester by the Sea. It's a drama. You know how much I love dramas. You love but, dramas. But the director himself, it, it's a curious story of 
of rebellion and magic, okay? His name is Kenneth Longerin. And Kenneth Longerin, he is the spitting image, and he's a live-action version of Peter Griffin from Family Guy. Okay? Oh, and now, oh yeah, I know, I know it sounds crazy, but bear that's with crazy. me. Bear with me. Let's just say, let's just assume that Peter Griffin is a live-action version. His name is Kenneth Longerin, okay? Yeah. He works for and under Seth MacFarlane. Okay. Seth MacFarlane, no, let, he's, he's not doing his best work nowadays. Yeah. But maybe, maybe at one point he was, and he created this creature, right? Kenneth Longren yeah. doesn't want to do anything anymore. He doesn't want to work for this hack. So what does he do? No. He makes a movie, Manchester by the Sea. He becomes best friends with not only Ben Affleck, but his brother and handsome brother, Casey. Casey Affleck. Handsome. Very, very handsome man in the Affleck family. Yes, the Affleck family, they're blessed to be very handsome men. So I'm just going to side by side, Peter Griffin and Kenneth Longren, show you it's just, just the similarities. Same people. Look at that. Same, same, same exact people. Right there. Right there. And look at that. That picture right there, that's exactly him. It's the so, same. Uh, Seth MacFarlane, you are a wizard, and I think your time is up because I think Kenneth Longren has taken the throne. Manchester by the Sea is my pick for best movie. Damn. Uh, best director. Interesting. Kenneth Longren. So that's just my opinion, and there are a lot of opinions to go around. Yes. And I think there are other movies that deserve some praise and some directors that deserve some critiques. Some critiques for their ghosts. Exactly. They need a little uh, wag of the finger, like, bad job. Mm -hmm. Get those ghosts out of there. Slap on the wrist. Slap and on the wrist. nobody deserves it more than this next director. Uh, his name is a little bit hard for me to pronounce, so bear with me. Mm -hmm. um, his name is Denise Villeneuve. Denise or Villeneuve. Villeneuve. Do you and, have a... oh, Yeah, man. go ahead. I don't, I, I don't know how to say it right, but I know... Do you have any pics of Denise? Sure, yeah, I, I got some pics of him. Okay, because yeah. I, I saw some recent pics, and they'll blow your mind, but let's see what you got. I will show you a picture of Denise Villeneuve that I found. Um, this is courtesy of, of Google, google.ghost. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, man. It, it shows some very explicit ones. Look at this one. He is covered in human feces. Jeez. Look at that, but these, human feces. I, um, I went online, and I saw a recent picture of Denise, mm -hmm. oh man, like those are some older pictures, but this is how he looks now. Okay, okay let's see. Now, uh, should there be some kind of trigger warning? Should people be afraid? Oh my god, <laughs> it's the oh most recent god. picture. Whoa, okay, everybody, I'm so sorry to have scared you like that. We, we should have had uh, some kind of trigger warning it's because that is scary. terrifying. Mark, have done that. This is this is Denise now, this is what he looks like now. And this is okay. the kind of directors that Hollywood is rewarding with Oscars. Mm -hmm. Now, I mean, uh, people, go ahead and just think about Denise Villeneuve. We have uh, decoded the, the word, the name Denise Villeneuve, and it actually says evil sinned. And it says every evil sinned. Oh. That's his. That's his name. When you mix up the letters, every evil sinned. So, this man, this uh, this ghost man, this ghost. He's not a man. He's a ghost now. And he's directing great movies. He's directing a movie about aliens, and they talk to people, but they do it in a in a super weirdo way. I can't I can't explain it. But all I can say is that those maybe weren't even aliens. They might have just been ghosts. They were ghosts. Mm -hmm. it, and it's just like, I don't know. I don't want this man directing my movies. No. Like, he doesn't look trustworthy. He looks very scary. Mm -hmm. I mean, no. No. And give that give that job to Barry Jenkins. He is the Barry next, next director. He's my second pick for best director. Um, his movie, Moonlight, came out. I have some issues just with nighttime itself because that is when ghosts come out. It's a scary time. It's a scary time. And, and when the moonlight is out, you know that that's when the ghosts are in, in yeah. your house, in your home. 
So, other Lord than the title, go sin. Yes. Other than that, the movie itself was striking. It's phenomenal, and I believe that Barry Jenkins has a bright future as long as he doesn't drink drink the Kool Aid. As long as he's not drinking the Kool Aid with all the other ghosts, yeah. all these other directors, because it's it's a club. These guys get together. These guys, girls, these people get together, and they they joke about how many ghosts they're putting in the movies. They laugh mm -hmm. about it. Okay. Exactly. I, I put mean, a million. I put two million. It's just like the old lady who lived in the shoe. Like they tried to put as many kids in that shoe as they could, but mm -hmm. then they ran out of space. And that's where they're at with these movies. They're putting too many ghosts in the scene, and there's not enough, there's not enough space for them. There's not enough scene for the ghosts to be in anymore. Yeah, and they're running out of movies. Yes. So these directors, let's just call call it like it is. They're all in the pocket of the ghost industry, ghost yeah. company, ghost co. Okay. Exactly. Warner and Brother, Hollywood. No. Fox. And Fox. Yes. Um. Mm -hmm. Mark Wahlberg. Mark Wahlberg, and I think Mark has been talking a lot about. Um, and I'm not sure if he's completely on, on the right side of, of truth here, but he's been talking about Johnny Depp. And so Johnny Depp is somebody that is going to be heavily investigated, um, and I think Mark's going to be taking the lead on this one. Yeah. So look forward to that. Look forward to all of our videos. We're not done with the Oscars because there are a lot more nominations that we're going to get to. Okay? So until next time, stay in the scene and keep your eyes on the screen. Stay in the scene. We'll see you next time. Peace.